Avengers Endgame may be the culmination of the MCU so far, but that doesn't mean there's not a lot of upcoming Marvel movies on the way. Marvel Studios is currently keeping their long-term plans under wraps, understandably, with Marvel visionary Kevin Feige confirming no Phase 4 announcements. By the way, Phase 4 is the next phase in the MCU, and he will not make any announcements until after Spider-Man Far From Home is released. Avengers Endgame is the swan song for the OG Avengers, but the future is bright for the MCU with a range of new and diverse heroes, including the MCU being able to incorporate characters like the X-Men and Fantastic Four because the Disney Fox acquisition is now complete. So we have a lot to look forward to. With all that said, we still know a fair bit about the future MCU slate. An Avengers Endgame is the second of three Marvel blockbusters to drop in 2019, and a number of other projects are still in development, expected to release between now and 2021. Sequels to the likes of Captain Marvel, even though, you know, that's obviously not one that is being looked forward to tons because of Brie Larson's actions recently, as well as other outings for Earth's Mightiest Heroes, are certainly expected but these are the ones that are confirmed if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button spider-man far from home is going to be released on july 2nd this year so it is the last film in phase three and the first after avengers endgame and will serve as an extended epilogue to avengers endgame so much happens in avengers endgame as you can imagine kevin feige explains and so much is affected by it that we felt what better person to hold your hand and lead you through the next incarceration of the MCU than such a grounded character like Peter Parker. Though I really am looking forward to Spider-Man Far From Home, especially the fact that we'll get to see Mysterio in it, so I definitely really hyped for it. And July 2 is not too long away guys, so we don't have too long to wait. It is the only other film this year coming from the MCU though, because that makes a total of three in 2019, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. The next MCU movie is Black Widow. Likely May 2020 will be its release date. There's been a clamor for a Black Widow movie since Scarlett Johansson was introduced playing the character in 2010's Iron Man 2. The film is finally becoming a reality after Avengers Endgame in Phase 4, however, with filming due to start in June. Johansson is rumoured to be netting a 15 million paycheck for the movie, with Florence Pugh and David Harbour recently joining the cast of the movie. So make sure to comment down below and let me know, are you hyped for the Black Widow movie? Because there are a lot of storylines that they can explore in Black Widow movie, and the Black Widow character is one that has a lot of comic storylines that still need to be adapted to the screen so i am hella hyped for this to come out and i cannot wait for 2020 so definitely gonna be seeing this on like the first day it's in theaters but let me know down in the comments down below if you are hyped for the movie the next movie due to come out after black widow is the eternals this is one that is likely to release sometime in 2020 and Marvel has always liked to toss a curveball now and then, and The Eternals is definitely one of their most unexpected projects after Avengers Endgame. Created by the legendary Jack Kirby, in the comics The Eternals are an evolutionary offshoot of the human race created by ancient, powerful aliens known as the Celestials. Angelina Jolie and Kumail Nanjiani are reportedly in Talks to Star, and there are rumors the film will likely introduce the MCU version of Hercules. So I'm pretty hyped for that. You know, nowhere near as hyped for that as Black Widow. But yeah, that is a film that we're going to get in 2020. However, there is also another film that is definitely in the works right now. And you may have guessed this, the sequel to Black Panther. So naturally, Black Panther 2 is a priority for Marvel Studios after Avengers Endgame. Given the first film was the highest grossing domestic film of 2018 and earned them an Oscar nomination for Best Picture. Ryan Coogler is set to return as both writer and director. I believe he's currently writing the script right now. So yeah, this project is definitely under the works and I can't wait to see it in 2021. It makes the most sense to release 
then because that is a three-year gap and usually in between movies there is a three-year gap you know especially if it's gonna lead up to a sequel or something like that so pretty hyped for black panther 2 let me know what you would like to see in black panther 2 down below in the comments after black panther 2 doctor strange's sequel is likely to be in the theaters likely in sometime again in 2021 so Doctor Strange played a major role in Avengers Infinity War and he also is a major role in Avengers Endgame. You know, he was able to see all the possible possibilities and he spent tons of time doing that. And he also was able to help out tons in that fight scene in Avengers Endgame. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but yeah, he did. After years of rumors, at least Marvel is pressing ahead with Doctor Strange 2. C. Robert Cargill will reportedly return as writer while Scott Derrickson is on board as director and Benedict Wong has suggested filming could begin later this year, essentially confirming this is for a 2021 release. Again, also makes sense, roughly a three year gap, you know, a little over a three year gap. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped for Doctor Strange 2. However, after Doctor Strange 2 releases, there is another character that we have not seen before that will be hitting the screen, Shang-Chi. Another unexpected priority for Marvel after Avengers Endgame is Shang-Chi, which will be a martial arts movie directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. No details have yet emerged about this project, but there are rumors it could be heading to our very own Sydney Fox Studios and will be shot down here in Australia. So last but not least, you may have guessed this, this is the next movie after Shang-Chi and it's the last of all of the confirmed movies that are part of Phase 4, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. As one of Marvel's most troubled productions, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 looked like it may never happen after writer-director James Gunn was fired over social media messages he posted back before he worked for Disney. Convinced he was truly repentant, Disney rehired Gunn, which I'm glad for because without him, I'm not sure any of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies could work. That man is a genius, but the result is a significant delay. Gunn has been committed to shooting Warner's The Suicide Squad before returning to Marvel. Production of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is expected to begin in 2021, which essentially confirms this for a 2023 release. So let me know down in the comments which of these movies are you most excited for. Personally, I would have to say that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Black Widow are the movies I'm most looking forward to, but all of these movies I'm definitely going to be watching, and I think they fit right into the Phase 4. So tell me if you are hyped for the Phase 4 of the MCU, and also if you're interested in checking out any of my other Avengers Endgame videos, I have a couple other Avengers Endgame spoiler talk videos where I run through all of the deaths that happened and also why there is no post credit scene. So they do have spoilers, but you can go ahead and check it out, and you can leave a like on those videos if you do enjoy. And if you want more Marvel content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, because I'm going to be bringing a lot more non-clickbait Marvel content in the very near future. With all that said, hope you guys are having an amazing day. My name is Darkitect, and peace out.